Ugh. 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 I've been sitting here for hours. Studying as I lay dying, but... Uh, I just... I can't figure out what to say, you know? It's... It's like... It's like my life doesn't have any meaning anymore because... Uh, it's just... It's so hard. It doesn't have to be, Dylan. What? Who hey, are you? you? Well, my friend, I am the literacy fairy. Oh my goodness. I'm here to explain to you the works of As I Lay Dying, because apparently you're having a little bit of trouble. Yes, I am. Do all literary fairies wear hats like that? Only the ones that know the most about literacy. Okay. <laughs> Go when you're ready. Alright, alright. Now, Dylan, I'm here to explain to you as I lay dying. I'm going to give you a brief description of the word just to let you know what's going on. Oh, thanks. Now, As I Lay Dying was written by William Faulkner. Now, Faulkner is famous. Where are you going? Give, keep eyes on the illiteracy. Now, uh, Faulkner is famous for a stream of consciousness writing, which just means writing down the thoughts of the characters, which seems confusing, but it makes for some interesting work. Now, <coughs> okay, As I Lay Dying is about Ants and Addie Bundren, the parents of a poor family in Mississippi during the 1930s. Addie Bundren dies early on in the book, uh, uh, <coughs> and, uh, uh, yes, I know, I spoiled it. Oh, you spoiled it. I'm sorry. And her dying wish is to be buried with her family in Jefferson Town. The children <laughs> do... Oh, don't laugh at me. All right, now the children, Dewey, Dale, Jewel, Vanderman, Darrell, and Cash, all deal with their mother's death in different ways. Uh, what? Yes. That's now, exciting. It sure is. Now, as the family travels to Jefferson, the trials they face reveal different character traits. What? For example, Ants Bundren is notoriously cheap and selfish, and his actions during the journey reflect this. Oh, oh my I gosh! Know. Oh, That was just a brief summary to let you know what this book is about. Thank you. How would you recommend that? Oh, wow. Uh, why are you standing all of a sudden? Because I'm the little Cifair and I do whatever I would please. Okay, well, I was just wondering, literacy, literacy fairy, do you think it's worthwhile for me to read the rest of this book? Do I think it's worthwhile? Well, I don't think there's anything else in the world more worthwhile. <laughs> all right. Now, Dylan, let me just give you my opinion of this book, all right? Now, okay. 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 Now, I believe that As I Lay Down is a very good book, very interesting. If you are interested in learning about the character traits and delving deep into the thoughts and emotions of different characters, then this is definitely the book for you to read. Because the stream of consciousness writing allows you to get the deep, Thoughts of the characters without a third party narrator or anything else, just flat out telling you this. Oh, that's good. I like those kind <clears throat> of stories. So I would definitely recommend this story. Good. Because it is very, very interesting. Sweet, and the trials sweet. they go on to find them as characters and develop their personalities and how they deal with their mother's death. Literary safe area, you're losing your head. You're losing your mind with literacy. Ugh. I knew. Oh. Okay, stop that. Literacy fairy, will I ever see you again? Ho ho ho! Only if you're having trouble with reading books, which I assume you will, Dylan. I'm here to help. And as I lay down, it's a darn good book. I'm leaving.